All right, hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Orcs Must Die. One, the first one. I forget if I, I actually haven't edited it yet, but last time we did the stream. So it could be that I turned that into two episodes or I just cut it down heavily and made it one. Actually, whoops. Let's do the loading screen again. <laughs> hey, while we're here, check this out. I got a, uh, I got a dagger. No real reason. The rumor okay. is a lot of us war mages are falling in battle. I wonder how many okay, are left to one. hold the forts. Oh right, then there's this. Right. Hmm. Got it. So, wind gust will be good. Oh, please. Um. Okay. Actually, if we put them here, they'll like this one. Yeah, if we put them here, then I think they'll start to walk all the way down here before they actually get there. Warning may cause death. Yeah, they'll start to walk all the way down and then turn around. Unless they just bust through. There are some there are some levels where like if you put the um, the things down and leave the path open, they will just rip through. Nice. Cool. Clean it up, huh? All right. The thing is, when they're this slowed, it's actually pretty easy to just knock through them like this, you know? Big kill streets can actually give you more cash, by the way. Nice. All right. We could actually go for a third one. Let's save it. We've got it. We've got we've got them pinned down pretty well here. I just found some video settings, but I can't imagine what could possibly be making them do that. I know that this is a case in the sequel, but I actually don't know if you can do this in this game. But there's a few, um, if you're having difficulty, like, sculling a level while playing traditionally, you can actually get specific achievements for doing a level without using magic, and that'll give you a crazy score boost, and it might help you, help you like get this goal. But I don't remember if um, I don't remember if that's in this game. Let's just fill that out. And then the next ones, they're probably coming out of here, right? Yep. Well, this, will, this is a good enough choke point, is that? Unfortunately, I don't think I can put anything on the wall.
One thing that's nice about using the wind belt and the um what have you got? is that they're actually in the same perk. Take me so like for example, if I grab off. that, then I get a, uh, a bonus on both. of Maximilian, but he's so very dated. You know? Like, I'm reminded of how in, like, Borderlands, the character... I forget what his name is. He's the bisexual guy in Borderlands 2. He's the dude with the turret. What is he doing? Dang. I love him because he shares sexuality with him. And he's a uh, positive depiction of a bisexual man. You say what you will about Vamp, but he is technically a bad guy. Axton? Happy hunting. Yeah, I think his name's Axton. Anyway, um. I played Borderlands 2 with my wife recently, and it was a fun time, because that game is pretty yeah. alright. Oh, right, I can use, use the gates. Um, but Axton is, like, a little obnoxious. He's a little cringy. And, like, granted, it's a Borderlands game, so, like, a lot of them are, but, you know, compared to Zero, who is cool and stylish and uses... Oh, coming in from the top as well cool and stylish, and Zero only speaks in haiku, and that's like a really cool character trait. To Axton, who makes, you know, like, oh-so-timely references to, like, Oprah. Like, when, when um... He gets like a kill streak or something. The war mage will sometimes literally say like, "Well, that just happened," which is now the kind of writing that people mock. Like the really obnoxious yes. MCU movies, like like Avengers Two, is like that, where they just they almost need to fill space, so they have a a, a lull destruction such as it is. You know, you can't let us a, a scene breathe. You have to have a fun, quippy joke to lighten the tension. You know, like a character says their fun catchphrase and everyone in the theater was waiting for it. Everyone who was a comic fan is waiting for them to say their catchphrase or whatever. And then they're like, wait, that sounded better in my head. Like, haha, you know? But, you know, we can sit here and believe that, you know, superheroes are real. We can, we can suspend our disbelief and say, yes, I believe that a man bitten by a radioactive spider, boy, or a boy bitten by a radioactive spider can take on the powers and attributes of it, even though that makes no scientific sense. I'm taking my barricade, guys. You know, say what you will about the um, the the Andrew Garfield and the uh, Tobey Maguire movies. But changing the, the radioactive spider to a genetically engineered one actually has a lot of scientific merit, such as it is. So for the War Mage to literally say, quote, that just happened, unquote. Like, wh wh what does that even mean, dude? Of course it just happened. Many things happen. It's like when people say it is what it is. You know, almost everything is what it is.
Like, what, what do you mean to say when you say it is what it is? Okay, got, I'm glad I came this way. Oh, geez. Oh, that was a short one. Dang. 